Hi, it's John Coast Mace R D. Today I have a Triumph Spitfire rocker arm assembly on my bench. And I need to take this apart so that I can reface the rockers. They've got a little bit of wear in them, and if they're not reconditioned before the engine's put back together, there's always going to be a small problem, sometimes a large problem, to adjust the valves and get them correct. So we're going to show you how this is done. All right, we're going to need a couple tools. We're going to need a Phillips screwdriver to remove this screw. And then we'll need some cutters here to remove this cotter pin on the end. Sometimes these come out easy, sometimes they don't. There we go. All right, now all we have to do is take the assembly apart. We've got a little bit of rust on here. And we'll take and polish the shaft. All right, well, I've got this assembly pretty much torn apart here. And you may be going, oh, my God, how's he ever going to figure out how to get that thing put back together? Well, I took a couple of digital still pictures before I tore the thing apart. So now we'll go ahead and assess it was of doing the rocker arms and the shaft. All right, I've mounted the shaft in the lathe. And what I'm going to do is turn it on and use a piece of emery to polish this. We're not really trying to take any material off, we're just trying to get the crud that's normally built up on this thing off and make it so everything will operate a little bit smoother. All right, I've got my shaft all polished up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these parts now and I put the loose small parts on a hair clip. I'm going to put these in our tumbler so we can get them clean before we do our machine work on them. Over at the valve grinder, I've got it set up with our special tooling for doing rocker arms. And a little bit of oil going here. Just bring this up and run it on the wheel. Off. So that's nice and clean. And that's that. and do the rest of these. I have everything all lined up here as far as the way they go out back on the shaft so we're going to start this process but this is one of the things you do want to do is to get things laid out so that it makes the whole process much easier when you slide everything back together. All right we're going to start with this end here where the set screw goes in to hold this in place. The first thing we're going to do is put a little bit of assembly oil on here. And stick this on. Just turn it around. These holes are going to mate here in just a second. Put this rocker in. And then we also have this little spring that goes in here to hold it tight. And I've got the hole lined up. Take the set screw and put in. We'll just leave it in there for right now. We'll tighten it up here in a minute. I'm going to take our next rocker arm. 
spring, another rocker arm, stand, like so. Then we have a spacer, another rocker arm, spring, rocker arm, spacer, next stand, and then it will be another rocker arm, spring, rocker arm, and the last stand. Rock arm in. And then the last thing we'll have to install is the last little spring. And then all we have to do is install the cutter pin. We'll flare that around here in just a second. So that's about it just have to have a few special tools when you reface the rocker arms but you need to make sure that you have a nice uninterrupted surface because if you have interruptions in there it's going to throw your valve adjustment all off. If you have any questions about rocker arm rebuilding or machine work give me a call here at Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.